is up guys welcome back to another video and today we're going to be reviewing the m1 game team goes to versus candy comeback and if you guys are wondering yes this is the game where basic didn't fist bump me right after a game even though we won <coughs> so i just wanted to look back at it because i haven't looked back at it ever since the tournament ended since i knew it was going to be a bunch of bash especially for the tanks and offlane because they die the most it always it's always what happens when a team loses it's always the tank or offlane or some stupid shit but uh, we're going to review not just my gameplay but the team as a whole all right so um the draft we have nothing to do with it because james which is the rq coach right now was the one that drafted for us he was the our coach at the time and he was drafting according on our strengths all right he since we don't have you know we don't have the best hero pool obviously um basic just started uh what's it called basic just started playing mid lanes ever since the boot camp started in indo and then he used to be off laner and then obviously I wasn't supposed to play and then I ended up playing for them which I'm not even you know I'm not even used to playing five men with them because I, I didn't think I was gonna play so I didn't practice until last minute but um, also Ken Ray he, he became an off laner he used to be mid laner now he's an off laner so he had he had to switch up a lot uh, we had to adjust a lot of things all right before the tournament or the group stages happen so let's let's move move on we don't really care about the draft since James did draft for us all right let me explain i will before the game before we continue i will pause the game like multiple times f so i can give myself time to explain um thoroughly um with how i'm thinking why did i do what i did um hopefully you guys understand but before we start we have general on bot lane he's gonna be actually soloing as a cod here on this game and tamos off lane of course is gonna be solo and of course basic wants me and breezy the two tanks next to him because you know he it's it's basic he wants he wants to be the hero so we're gonna be sticking next to him and try to protect him as much as possible so me and breezy are actually um gonna secure this bush right here the left side bush i'm really not sure give me a second i'm really not sure why basic is showing himself it would be better if he came into the bush with us so if these guys go aggressive on these minions it's gonna be a 3v2 instead uh it's gonna it's gonna be a 3v2 because they don't know right but they did expect they did expect us that uh that we were gonna be on this bush anyways and lunox has a lot of sustain early game and grok fucking hurts still like this is before the grok nerf so this is a different patch and i know i know that hylos is a good counter to grok so that's why i went aggressive on grok right there but we still got we still got out traded i really don't know what lolita did i think he made sure he made sure that nobody was gonna invade right here because Kimi and Valir were going aggressive like towards this direction. That's why Lolita went this way. So he was making sure that there was no invade. So that's why there's only me and Basic here at mid lane. So not really sure why Breezy did that. I think it would have it would have been better if Breezy just stayed mid. We could have gotten a kill here if he had stun. Maybe. But we don't have enough damage as you can see. So they, they get to get away and we got out harassed actually. Look at my health. I did have revitalized so I wasn't really I wasn't really like worried. Now we see that they're invading, they have such a really good early game. Lunox's early game with the light form, Grok early game, Kimmy early game, Valir early game, they're all pretty much early game heroes, alright? So since we know that they're gonna invade, me and Basic are gonna rotate here on the uh, opposite of blue buff and just counter jungle instead of contesting this blue buff that we have right here. Now, um Tamus all Tamus needs to do is pretty much just farm here or get this small minion here but it's gonna be really hard since there's four members of Candy comeback right here and um, instead of Lolita trying to contest this blue buff he should have he should have gone with us but let's see what happens yeah he should have like continued to come with us right here instead instead of two people contesting this blue buff Lolita should have just gone here and let Tamus stay there. Tamus is not gonna die. All he need, all Tamus needs to do is stay in this bush and survive. Cause this, there's really no hope in trying to get this blue buff. They have so much early game pressure and uh, their comp is based off early game. If Lolita, if Lolita rotated right here instead of staying here, we should have, we could have um, finished this blue buff a lot faster with the extra damage she has. But what happened is, since Lolita didn't rotate. The blue buff is almost dead. We did get it, but the enemies get to rotate like super super quickly right here on us right here. They get to rotate super super quickly because the blue buff is not dead yet. If Lolita was here, the blue buff should have been out already. The blue buff should have been dead already and we could have hopped out 
or this way as well so let's keep moving so my priority right here is to defend basic you see how he's stuck give me a second you see how he got stuck right here he does have flicker this game from what I remember and he could have flickered out right there but my priority was protecting basic so I put her revitalized so she could come out and then I died for her pretty much and she has shield but she doesn't have enough damage to kill anyone honestly yeah so I pretty much died for her she gets stunned we can't fight this they, their early game is so much stronger and Grot almost died with 1 HP oh, actually she, he did die so it's a it's a tank for a tank but Lolita died as well so it's a 2 for 1 we lost that trade they do have the early game advantage with the team comp so cannot argue with that now our red buff is still up our red buff is still up it's supposed to go to Claude but Esmeralda is going to take it from what I remember so yeah so the the reason why I died right there was I'm trying to revitalize for Esme and pretty much try to protect him sacrifice for him if needed and that is what happened so right here Claude is still farming general is playing it really really safe since he is a solo laner he doesn't uh, yeah, he's playing it really, really safe right here. And nice bait from Jen. We were able to get a kill. Now, so now it's a two for two. Not bad. Nice bait. Not nice play from General, baiting that Badang to being aggressive. Now, stop. We see that um, they're gonna be doing. They rotated around the turtle buff, a uh, turtle lane, um, and we have to give vision there. I have to give vision exactly. Uh, Esmeralda is gonna clear this mid most likely, and I don't know if we're gonna contest this. I forgot. Okay, let's see here. Man, put out the scoreboard, mother. Okay, here we go. So me and Breezy are trying our best. Stop, 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 stop. Me and Breezy are trying our best to secure bushes, but I really don't understand why Breezy tried to stun the Lunox with light form. It's like there's no point. He, she's gonna light form out anyways. So Esmeralda started the turtle. I don't really know why, cause the enemy team got such a better early game and we're not even like super ahead we're not even super ahead in fact they're ahead so i i really don't know why we started turtle here uh, i i'm pretty sure basic was shot calling we, uh, yeah i don't know this is like a stupid turtle right here we shouldn't be doing the turtle or even baiting it we we, we lost team comp in early game so what i'm trying to do is zone i'm trying to zone them force these three people to not go towards the turtle and let esmeralda let esmeralda do the turtle but we, we can't do it it's really hard their, their early game pressure is way too strong and that's where we fucked up I think we all die here and you see we get one kill but that's about it and that's it see that was a really stupid call not really sure who called that but general got away with one HP so he's just gonna keep farming our red buff if you notice our red buff has, our red buff has gone away general almost died to red buff he was doing it while we were fighting here at turtle that red buff has not been taken for two mi like two minutes in. It still hasn't been taken, so that's the bad that's the bad part. All right, let's skip that. I died right there just because I'm zoning. Tank is life. Here we go. Now they get a free blue buff. We didn't e we didn't even contest for it. You see, if you look at the mini map, you should see Valir and Kimi right here. So that means that there's only two of them going for the blue buff, but Esmeralda went for the red instead. But Esmeralda prioritizes blue, it's an Esme, you need blue. Not really sure what Basic was thinking, but he went for the red instead of contesting this Grok and Lunox. Um, I don't think he had, uh, I think Lunox had Retribution, and he had Flicker, and that's why that's why he didn't go for it, not, not sure. But either way, he, we should have contested this blue buff. And there goes Valir. Valir and Kimi saw that they were invading, so they're gonna, they're gonna, uh, Valir and Kimi are gonna come towards this blue buff. So maybe that's why he went for the red buff. I guess that's understandable. Okay, we just gave it away. I'm like, okay, whatever. I can't take it. Your your early game is too strong. Can't take it. Esmeralda took the red buff. It was supposed to be for Claude, but whatever. Here we go. Okay, now I see Lolita and Esmeralda. Esmeralda's farming that little minion right here. It's fine. Tamos is getting pushed because he's against uh, Kimi and Valir. It's so hard to defend against Kimi and Valir. 2v1. And this Claude, of course, Claude is doing a 1v1 against this Badang. Um, actually, Claude has the upper advantage here against Badang since he has the second skill, so he can teleport out of the Badang's ulti. And he also has Purify, I'm pretty sure. Stop! Stop right there. Uh, so, what happened there was basic committed to a light form Lunox. Give me a second. 
Yeah, I don't know why we keep committing to a light form you know, so It's it's like super super dumb. Uh, give me a second. Right there. Um, actually, Lunox had dark form, so maybe that's why he wanted to go in. But this guy flickered away. It was a Valier. And then since I saw him commit, I committed as well with my ulti so he can chase. And Lolita. I don't think Lolita wasted his ulti here. Let's see. Give me a second. Right there, I committed, but Esmeralda started farming, so we just backed off. See, there's like lack of chemistry. Stop. So Lalita went into the bush to go for a one-man ulti right here. I'm pretty sure... I don't even know if we get this kill here. I don't even think we do. I'm pretty sure I died. Yeah, I died. I died for that. And again, basic gets away. Lalita dies as well. It's always the two tanks. Always the two tanks. Do one engagement. We try to commit with you and then you back off and then nothing happens. We just end up dying. I don't know. These commits are really, really bad. I don't know why we would go in on a Lunox anyways. It was a Lunox with one dark form. He could easily go to light form and escape. So, And the same with Valier. Valier has free purify on his ulti, so there's really no point. And plus, plus if he if Esmeralda jumps on Valier, he pushes you away. See right there? Esmeralda ulted light form Lunox again. He forced him into using a light form. Turtle's gonna be up. Cloud is still farming. Right, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to give him vision to what's happening in the turtle But Esmeralda is gonna farm here, Cloud is gonna do a 1v1 against this Kimmy But I'm pretty sure what we're gonna do is gank this bot lane since we saw Kimmy alone Yeah, we're just gonna trade the turtle and go for a kill on this Kimmy that's alone So that's what happened here And I'm pretty sure we get an easy kill here Yep, that should be an easy kill on Kimmy but they get the turtle which is global gold Turtle is more important Alright, there we go Let's see what else happens here. Now, the blue buff, Esmeralda's blue buff is up. Also, Claude's red buff is up. And uh, we need to take this tower for a trade. So we get a kill and a tower. So also global gold. Also, Tamos got a top lane tower. So we're, we're, we're kind of out rotating them a little bit based off objectives. Right now, Esmeralda doesn't get a blue buff again. Esmeralda's going to take the red buff from Claude. So let's see what happens here. I'm just securing the bush. Okay, so this, this... You see how me me and Lalita was just giving vision to secure the bush? And we're both retreating. We're both retre retreating right here. There's minions pushing in for this tower, but there's nobody with them. It's uh, Grok and Lunox is actually going to commit to me. So let's see what happens here. I didn't want to go there. They were already too close. You see how close they were? I didn't want to go there. Um, Grok could wall me in and probably kill me and Breezy. He has Flicker. Breezy has Flicker, so he doesn't have to worry, but I don't. I have revitalized, so I, 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 I either ulti out to save myself or just be tanky enough to so that team, my teammates can save me. But Grok walls me in right here, yep, Grok walls me in right here, and I try to get away. They cleared instead, yeah, they, they got the red buff, Esmeralda got the red buff and went mid instead. I got walled out, and yeah, there's nobody there to help me, so I die right here, I'm pretty sure. L uh, Lunox bursts me right here. Yeah. I even turned up my second skill so the, the region was a lot faster. You see this? There's just no... I don't know. There's just no coordination in this Gosu, Gosu squad. We're not in sync is what I mean. So Esmeralda and Lolita are going to push this mid lane. Tower for a death of mine. So Hylos death. But they need to back off since they, kn they knew that the enemy team was coming. Lolita has flicker so even if he gets walled in he's safe. So let's see what happens here. So now I'm back at it again. Stop. Esmeralda ulted the Grok. Not really sure why because that's a tank. Yeah, it would have been better if you ulted the Valir instead of the Grok because... Yeah, not really sure. I mean, even though Valir has ulti to purify you, it she he's still a lot more squishier than Grok. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, Grok gets away. Alright, stop, stop, stop. Esmeralda starts farming here on the small minion. You see how Esme is doing a farm right here? And the three of us are committing to this. Since he went in on Grok, he, he, I thought we thought we, he wanted a kill, right? He, we thought Basic wanted a kill on this Grok. Uh, Thamos committed, Breezy committed, and I committed, right? Since it's a 2v4, pretty much. If Basic was here, it would have been a 2v4, but he went here instead, which becomes a 1v, 1v2 right now. It's 1v2. 
Uh, why did I say 1v2? 3v2, sorry. 3v2. <laughs> why did I say 1v2? But their teammates, which is Lunox, Kimi, and Badang, they're about to sandwich and kill all of us right here. So that's the bad part. Pretty, pretty sure we get sandwich here. You see how me and Tamus committed? It's just not insane. And I die because of it. Okay, stop. Lalita ulted wide open right here instead of ulting right here. Not really sure why. It would have been the same. Would have been a lot better if he ulted in the bush so they don't expect it. But then again, it is in the heat of the moment. Now Esmeralda's back at it after I died. It's too late. Your whole team is dead. There's really no point in coming back into the team fight. Gets forced to ulti out. Here we go. Actually, basic lived. Lolita trying to save basic. Here we go. <clears throat> so I died five times at this point. You guys seeing? You guys seeing how I, I'm dying here? You guys are seeing how I'm dying here? So I got Athena shield first for Lunox. Claude still farming. We're hoping for his late game. So he's still farming. Enemy doing turtle again. Let's see what happens here. They got that super super easily. Now I'm trying to stick next to basic and kind of protect them. I have revitalize. I have ulti. And plus I have stun to try and protect them. And then Lalita's going to try to protect get general. So we kind of partner it up. So here we go, me and Esmeralda are actually doing the blue buff here and Lunox and Grok are gonna try to contest for it. It's I, I forgot who gets it. I think Esmeralda backs off. Yeah, Esmeralda backed off. He's like, fuck it, just leave it. Thamos is still split pushing the stop lane, that's what an off laner does. So, um, give me a second. Get walled in. Nothing happening so far. Kimi got the red buff, so all our resources are literally getting wrecked right now. This Lolita dies, I'm pretty sure. You see, give me a second, stop, go back. You see how there's a fight go, there's, you know, the, the enemy team, they're about to siege a tower, either bot lane or mid lane, right here. Bot lane or mid lane. So what me, Lolita, and Claude are gonna try to do is defend and try to make the tower live as long as possible, pretty much by time. Because we're outnumbered, it's a 4v3 once Lolita dies, all right? And then Esmeralda's gonna split push mid lane to try and get more objectives because he's the hero. Alright, let's see here. Lalita dies right there. You see how Esmeralda's gonna try to split push this mid lane instead of helping us right here? Because there's four of them and there's only two of us. Claude and uh, Hylos are the only one down here. So these people are gonna try and bully us here at bot lane. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is either protect this mid lane tower or this inhibitor tower. Since they um, they decided, the enemy team decided to uh, to commit to the inhibitor tower, I can't do anything. If I go in here, it's like another free kill, right? It's another free kill, I don't have help, general doesn't have enough damage. If general comes in, he also dies. So you see, you see how this is really hard for me in general? And there's really no point here. I'm trying to focus on Lunox. I ulted right away. And I'm pretty sure I live with 1 HP here. Luna, okay, Claude got in. And we actually got the Kimi, so that's good. Esmeralda died. Lolita tried shielding, but it was a little too late right there. So I'm just trying to wave clear. I'm trying my best just to wave clear. I don't want them finishing the game, obviously. I was super low, so I couldn't help right after. See this? Lunox being super, super aggressive. Lolita trying to save me with a shield. Badang is uh, Badang is really aggressive here at top lane. I'm surprised Tamus lost to Badang up top. Yeah, I didn't really see the fight since most of, mostly the cam camera goes to the cores instead of off laners. So now we're back at it and we're, we're trying to reset lanes pretty much what's happening right here. We're resetting lanes, trying to clear all, all side lanes. Now, as the game goes on, Kimi falls off late game, so it's really hard for her. It's really hard for her late game once I get tanky enough. Plus, Claude gets a lot, a lot stronger late game. Same with Esmeralda. Esmeralda late game just takes all your shield. So that's why uh, Candy Comeback had really hard, hard time finishing the game. So right here, we see that they're doing the turtle, and me and Lolita, you see how me and Lolita are giving each other vision. We're, we're, we're separated, but we're trying to give vision as much as possible on this Lord. Uh, so did I say turtle earlier? Uh, I meant to say Lord. So th this is the hard part about being a tank is you're pretty much risking your life by trying to check something especially when you're behind on objectives and kills and gold. We're 6,000 behind. We're only 25,000 or 31,000. 
but we need to risk our live che lives checking this this lord so they they cannot take it easily and i'm pretty sure they're either gonna commit to me or lolita stop so they reset the lord esmeralda ended up going for the blue while me and breezy are still trying to give vision on this lord just to make sure that they don't do it so badang i actually saw badang right there and i ot out i ot out he actually pushed me out so that's good yeah i ot out so i survive now tamos is still split pushing top lane we're gonna try to get objectives esmeralda is still split pushing this mid lane Yeah, we're gonna force this tower here. So they're they're kind of we're kind of wasting their time. We're buying time for for our split pushers, which is basic and Tamos. So we're gonna get two towers right there, second tier. Lolita trying to give vision. Basic is aware that Kimi and Valir are around here. So basic is doing a really good job hiding in this bush and hopefully getting uh, an ambush on Kimi or Valir. So me again. Now we're trying to get vision again. All right. So they started Lord. They're most likely baiting it, but we still need to give vision either way. So me and Lolita are fronting. So this Lunox almost get bursted by Claude. That's good. Grok knocked me up already. So no more ulti for Grok. Lolita ulted in the open. But the good part about this is Esmeralda actually caught the Valir and Kimi here in the back lane. So that that's what's good about it. So we ended up getting the Lord and killing their cores at the same time. Valir doesn't have enough burst, so this is good. I stun him, he's dead. Double kill for Esmeralda. Now, Tamus was trying to kill the Lunox, but they had way too much damage in the back line right here. So Lunox and Badang gets away. Esmeralda, we're actually gonna go for this. Flicker stun from Lolita. Triple kill from Basic. He goes in on the Badang, not really sure why. That's that's a little bit too risky right there, too greedy. A little too greedy, but I, I'm pretty sure he gets a kill here anyways. Yeah, he's, you see, Esmeralda was super, super strong during this patch. Super strong. Easy shields. This is where the patch where Esmeralda can still get full shield, I'm pretty sure. So let's see here, we're just, okay, not really sure why he ulted right there. Like, there's, I don't know, we, we were just trying to focus on getting the tower. Lalita's gonna ulti, gets the Badang stun. Right there. I, I think that Lolita ulti was a little bit too early, honestly. He should have waited. But um, we knew that Lord was going to get bursted, so we just backed away. Here we go. Get blue buff. We stole their blue buff. That's good. Claude is also um, pushing this bot lane, so we're going to get this second tier tower right here with super minions. Alright, that's what happened on the team fight. See what else happened. <clears throat> In a second, can we skip this instant replay? So we get another free tower, and this Badang got way too aggressive, super super overextended. So we get another easy free kill on this Badang. Yeah, I don't know what he did there. I don't know. He was trying to defend that second tier tower. Okay, nice shield from uh, Lolita right there. I stunned the Lunox, forcing him to light form. Grok already wasted his ulti on me. Lolita doesn't hit anything except for the Grok. So finally Lunox is dead and we have to focus on the Kimi. Look at Tamus just focusing on the Kimi, which is super super good, but I think Tamus might die here, not sure. No, he gets away. So we get a, a another inhib tower here at bot lane. Me, I'm trying to zone, trying my best to zone right here. Right there, Esmeralda goes in on Grok again. So we're just gonna focus on tower since we have minions, but Grok tried clearing with ulti, not enough damage. And I think we end the game here. Pretty sure. Yeah, we end the game right there. Yeah, and this is where basic end up getting yeah, I gave him a fucking fist bump, but he was really mad at me. Not really sure why. <laughs> really mad at me, and then general's like, hey, hey, chill, chill, chill. Ken Ray's like, what the fuck is going on? And then Breezy, of course, he's just minding and knows his own business. He don't give a damn. <laughs> he don't give a damn. You see, I, I really don't get why he was mad at me. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what he was mad at me for. But whatever, that was the game. Hopefully you guys liked that review. Um, hopefully you guys did learn something. Um, it's really good looking, um, you know, looking back at my previous games and learning from it. That's the wrong webcam. Looking back at my previous games and learning from it. Obviously, this is a way different patch. So you cannot really compare it to today's patch. So that was it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. If you want me to uh, do an analysis on another M1 game that we had, feel free to comment that below and I'll do it. Like even against Burmese goals or Axis, the Lolita game, I knew I, I had a lot of mistakes the, that first Lolita game. And that was my very first tournament. So if you guys want um, yeah, more analysis like this on a different game, just make sure to comment down below. Thank you guys.
That is it. I'm out. Peace.